Uh, hello, welcome to our screen. Hello and welcome to our screen. That doesn't work. I don't like that at all. Hello and welcome to our. I, I can't believe this crap that I have to say with this. Who, who did this? Was that all right, Roger? Though what, what I'm doing? Hello and welcome to Ask Grim. Mm, that felt good. Uh, today we have some fantastic questions from the world of new media and all those people out there who I will be visiting quite shortly. Uh, my very special guest today was going to be Thor. Yes, Thor, god of, uh, I think it's uh, thunder uh, or lightning or something. Thunder if he's had cheese, certainly. Um, he's not here though. Thor's not here. Uh, apparently he has Roger. What's wrong with Thor? Where is he has he needs chest or area? You're saying you're gesturing to your chest. I don't know why. No, what's wrong? Oh, he has bronchitis. Apparently he has congestion. You'll see. So Thor won't be uh, joining us here on the uh, Ask Grim. Ha ha ha! As I foresaw, he wouldn't be here. Well, first question, please, Roger. Hey, what's up? Uh, this is James Hafner, and I have a question for the Grim Reaper. Uh, I want to know how many times has the Grim Reaper been divorced? Or how many ex-wives does he have? Actually, I'm a bit of a widower, over and over again. I'm always on the lookout, though, for the next uh, Mrs. X Grim. So if you have any suggestions or, or girlfriends you don't like anymore, please send them my way. Hi, I'm Matt, and I'd like to know, Grim, what's your favorite Bergman film? Ah, what is my favorite Ingmar Bergman film, you clever dog, you? Of course, it's obvious. My favorite Ingmar Bergman film is Fanny and Alexander. It's a wonderfully gloomy film. Big fan. I mean, hello to you again, Mr. Reaper. I say again because we met once, if you'll recall, in a dream quest that I went on. Remember me? Geraldine chases her tail. Come on, how can you forget me? We chatted and chatted for hours. Oh. Anyway, my question for you is, where exactly do you live? Where do I live? Well, I live in the fears of all of you. Every day. I live in hospitals. I live in dreams. I live in all the places in the dark where you feel scared, all your, your deepest fears is where I live. It's a little apartment over in Van Nuys. I think everyone's fear lives somewhere in Van Nuys. Hi Grim Reaper, I'm Jonathan Nail with Solo the Series at WatchSolo.com and I do have a question that rather concerns my theme of show being in space. Do you ever find yourself running out of space for the souls that you gather, and at any point have you worked with NASA maybe to jettison them into space? Solo the series, yes, that's the, the space one, isn't it? Yes, quite nice. Uh, there's one person in particular on that show that I quite like. Yes, yes, you have no, mm-hmm, mm, nasty creatures. I think space uh, is, is a real growth industry for, for death. Uh, and I'm certainly hoping to have uh, a few uh, geosynchronous coffins up there in the next few, uh, few decades. Good question. Wasn't really a good question, but, uh, you know, I like Jonathan. Sort of kissing his ass a little bit, because, I mean, I mean, I think I could get in his show. I'm Devin Mills, and I'm the creator of the web series Dating in the Middle Ages. I am Brian Rada from Brian Rada Consulting. And we have questions for that Grim Reaper man. Yes, we do. We want to know how many people he's actually Grim Reaped. How many? And we want to know, does he do it alone? Does he have an organization behind him? Does he have assistance? And how can we become assistants? <laughs> I think it would be fun to be a Grim Reaper at... <laughs> There's a few people we want to, you know, take care of. Thank you. Well, that's very flattering that you might want to be a, an assistant or death et, if you will. Certainly death et would work for both of you, you know, Brian and, and Devin. Um, well, we do have an internship program. Uh, this is really a two-part question. You ask, how can you be an intern and can you bump someone off? Well, we combined the two for a while and it was like a revolving door. 
you know, we'd get, get an assistant and then I'd bump them off that day. And the training program became very expensive and, let's face it, inefficient. So now we've separated those two questions. First we get an intern and then we bump someone else off. And we think this is the formula that's going to stick. So if you're interested, go to Grimm's List. There's tons of uh, jobs, uh, massages, anything you might need on Grimm's List. And uh, apply for an internship. Um, you know, people are dying to get in this thing. So just, just get in there now. And uh, I'd love to have minions. I'd love to sort of farm it out and say, you know, over one billion uh, served, as it were. Uh, so send me a tombstone, send me whatever you have, your CV, as they call them. We'll get back to you. And uh, who, who was it you wanted to get uh, knocked off? You didn't mention anyone. Shall I just take care of everyone in the room with you? Or was it each other and you can't say because they're sitting right next to you looking all pleasant, you know? I remember that thing you said about Brian. I won't tell anyone. Yes, well, those were all delightful questions and I think we all had a lot of fun. Well, that's all we have time for. Uh, we wish for all the best with his bronchitis and his chest problems, being of course a naughty god, it's very cold up there. So remember to keep a lot of the, uh, the stuff on your chest that helps you breathe and try not to use the hammer too much. So Thor, feel better and join us again on Ask Grimm. You felt that, right? That was a good one. Smokey. Listen, I tried something new at the beginning there. I don't know if you were all rolling on that. But I, that you'll snip right to the good part on that. Of course I trust you. Yes, you've got my... Uh, yeah, you've got my back. Yeah, you, you, you've got my back. Yes. All right. Wonderful man. Good edit. You uploaded it? What? <laughs>